and more. We're going to talk about how you can age healthy backwards. You're going to love it. Stick around. Matt. Matt, yeah. Hey, welcome back to The Big Show Daily Flash. September is Healthy Aging Month, and our next guest has helped more than 75,000 patients live healthier lives during the course of his 10-year medical career. Please welcome the author of Healthy from the Inside Out, Dr. Elliot Herschel. Hey, all right. Doctor, welcome. Good Thank to see you. Thank you so much for having me. It's something that everybody wants to do, is living <laughs> healthy here. You're giving people the gift of life, if you think about Absolutely. it. And it's not really all that difficult to actually kind of, you know, have a different way of thinking, I would suppose, right? Yeah, absolutely. And and aging healthy is it's basically living your life and having a great quality of life pretty much all the way up to the end. Okay. And the Endocrinology of Aging Journal says that diabetes, which is very prevalent, is a cause of accelerated aging. And we know that celebrities like Paula Deen and Tom Hanks and Drew Carey, they've all suffered with diabetes, but diabetes doesn't start overnight. That's it's true. a gradual process. It actually starts with a process called insulin resistance, then it turns into prediabetes, and then diabetes. And 80 million Americans have prediabetes and they really have no clue. Right. But there are signs and symptoms and some bad habits that we can recognize that could give you some clue as to what's going on. And you say there are seven bad habits specifically. There are, Okay, yes. let's okay. start out All with right. the first one. So the first one is craving sweets. Okay. okay. Yeah. So Perfect. if you're constantly reaching for a sweet treat, that could be one of those bad habits that could lead to insulin resistance, prediabetes, diabetes, and, and ultimately accelerate the aging process. All right, imagine after you get off that sugar high, you're saying, well, I got to bump back up. I, I, I need some coffee. I need caffeine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's number two. So depending on coffee to get through your day <laughs> it is a problem. So if you like the taste, it actually is a great source of antioxidants. But when you throw all of the sugar stuff in there, uh -huh. that's where it becomes a problem because okay. sugar and carbohydrates lead to the prediabetes and diabetes. So that's another bad habit. What about forgetful between yes. meals? Yeah, I can't really remember this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> forgetful between yeah. meals. Between yeah. meals. Between the meals. Between the meals. Yes, yes. 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 in yes. particular. <laughs> so you come back from lunch and you look at your workstation and there are post-it notes everywhere. So if you're dependent on those types of crutches constantly to remember the things that you have to do, that's another bad sign that could accelerate the aging oh. process. So these are all signs you'll need to look out for. You could be possibly pre-diabetes. Another one is being well tired and exhausted yeah. after eating. Right, so if you have really low yeah. energy and you're napping a lot, just to get through your day. That's another bad habit that could put you on this process. Okay, frequent urination, that's another sign, right? Yeah, so if you're planning your day around where is the next bathroom stop, <laughs> this is also one of those Probably bad my habits. uncles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, but it, listen, if you drink a lot of water and you go to it, it's totally different than that. Is, Keep your that eye is, on your pee. Is, is, I've heard doctors yeah. say that, the color, it's right? Clear and copious. Clear and copious. Oh, that's the name of your, my next book. <laughs> okay, everybody has suffered this. I can't see anybody yes. has it. Hard yes. losing weight. Yes. I mean, yes. it seems like we all go through that. No if you're what. doing the yo-yo dieting, and it's as bad as my yo-yo skills, <laughs> yeah, yeah. um, that's that's difficulty losing weight's another sign, okay. or, or a bad habit is the yo-yo dieting. We're okay. talking about you're doing everything you can, and just well, I just can't seem to lose yeah, the weight. Yeah, there's something going yeah. on then if you're doing the diet and the exercise, Makes all the things you know you do. What right? about blurry vision? Yeah, so even if you have glasses, if you are squinting and you've got blurry vision, that's another sign that you've got this process of insulin resistance, prediabetes, diabetes, and that's gonna accelerate your aging. Right. We look at all those, but how can we reverse it? Yes. It's not as hard as we think is what you're saying. Yeah. So if you wanna stay young, Y-O-U-N-G is how you fix it. So okay. your diet matters. And so when you go to the grocery store, I want you to focus on the perimeter okay. and get things like your fresh fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. okay? I also want you to be getting the lean, healthy meats and proteins and okay. healthy fats like in olives. And I want you to avoid the center of the grocery store where you're gonna find a lot of your packaged goods like these things over here. Now, this is a healthier option, um, but the, the the packaged goods inside the middle of the store, that's the ultra processed stuff you wanna stay away from. Okay, now okay. Uh, a lot of times, it seems like we, until we get older, we kind of figure out, you know, I always notice this. Is that is that normal where we kind of try to Kind of figure out really what our body's mm -hmm. doing all together? Yes, it, it, it is normal and it's actually the, the next, almost the next step. Okay, so right. I'll get to that in just a second. So first we want to O oh, is optimize our optimize, exercise. Okay. Yeah, so we want to move quickly, um, but if you're a couch potato, I don't mean go run a marathon tomorrow, you have to take the next logical step. So maybe just walk around your block. That's a great way to help sensitize your body to the sugar that you're eating and help prevent insulin resistance. And, uh, and you get move those it. steps in. Yeah, you, you move it or you yeah. lose it. It, right? That's exactly right. Yeah. All right. And so you is understand your body, and okay, that's where you want to get information about what's going on.
going on on the inside so you can get healthy from the inside out. That's why I named my book that. So when you go to your doctor, ask them to go deeper than your routine labs. So for example, you can actually get an insulin resistance score to find out where you're at in this process, but it's not part of your routine physical, so you have to ask for that. Okay. You've got two letters left in the acronym. Yes. Uh, nurture healthy habits. Yes. So the healthiest habit that you can nurture, aside from diet and exercise, is sleep. Oh, so, well. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> sleep is where you get your healing, regeneration, and repair. So you gotta set yourself up for success here. So in your room, it needs to be dark. It needs to be as cool as you can tolerate. And you need to avoid screens. Yes, that's true. <laughs> and eating and drinking a few hours before bed to that's help your cool. body start to wind down and get ready for that sleep. All right. yeah. Finally, the last letter, G, G is, is get involved. Okay. We all know over the last couple of years, social isolation has led to lots of problems. And research shows that if you are involved in community with other people, it actually helps reduce chronic disease like diabetes. All right, I love this. So staying young. I love this. Great tips. So yeah, Y O U N G. Very, very good. It's all outlined in your book. To, uh, basically, is it go out besides that and kind it, of it, showing us how we can do it? Uh, you know, absolutely. Step step or? Yeah, I, I talk about my own journey into health and, and functional medicine. So I weave some of my own personal stories, some family oh, stories in there. And it talks about how you can get literally healthy from the inside out. So testing that you need to have done and then what to do to approach the results that you get so you can live a, a good quality life and be younger longer. So just wherever you're at in life, health-wise or whatever, right now, if you make that decision, you can kind of it's reverse it. It's never too late. Yeah. It's all about what you're going to decide to do today. All right. This book sounds very intriguing. And if you want to get a copy, where can folks go if they want to get healthy mm -hmm. from the inside out? They can go to my website, dr.elliothershorn.com. All right. Very good. We'll have links on our website, yeah. of course, as well. Doc, you laid it out great for us. The only thing is now, I have to live this. I can do it, right? Yes. That's right. Anybody can do it. It's about making small choices. Very, very Love cool. it. That was terrific. Thank you, Dr. Thank Hershorn. You. It was Thank terrific. You. All right. We'll have more Flash coming up right after this. Thanks, Doc. Thank you.